Today we're going to talk about campus networks. Yes, in years past, campus networks, and specifically Wi-Fi networks, haven't gotten the attention that they deserve. And the current campus network must be designed with a level of security, agility, and availability that has not been previously required. At the same time, network administrators are expected to reduce the cost of network operations, and perhaps most importantly, operational simplicity is a requirement. If you combine all of these requirements and compare it with the backdrop of how campus networks have been built in the past, you have a very different story. In the past, campus networks have simply been places in the network. It has been managed as a unique entity, often falling prey to the amalgamation of different acquired technologies and sometimes smashed together under one umbrella or label, but still operating as different management planes. Worse yet, the campus has been susceptible to many different operating systems supporting these different platforms, and even beyond the operating system, the campus has run tens of different images on the platform. This all has to change as we start to move towards the universal cloud network for the campus. With the proliferation of devices, increase in bandwidth and power and overall complexity that exists in the campus, we have to rely upon a better management plane than what has existed in the past. This is exactly what the cognitive management plane addresses. We start with end-to-end -end telemetry and tracers as networks have often been black boxes where traffic flow was expected to ingress and egress correctly. However, most vendors do not provide the instrumentation necessary to accurately see the client journey and quickly diagnose network problems, collect historical data, or provide visibility into the traffic no matter whether you're on a wired or wireless environment. A UCN campus network must have the ability to recognize the client, authenticate if necessary, analyze the client's flow patterns to other devices and determine if it's experiencing congestion and subsequently send a copy of that congestion inducing traffic to a monitoring tool. When an interface goes down, monitoring tools should provide affected workloads immediately with cross-system event correlation and real-time analytics to diagnose or resolve the problem. The network needs to be truly designed to support real-time, real-world operations. One of the foundational elements of the Cognitive Management Plane is ARISTA's Extensible Operating System, or EOS. ARISTA leverages an unmodified Linux kernel combined with a state-based database to provide resiliency within the network. ARISTA pioneered this capability through an innovation called SysDB. SysDB is an in-memory database running in user space containing the state of the system. Like traditional databases, SysDB does not contain any application logic and is only responsible for maintaining and propagating the state of the system. The goal of any network is to meet the demands of the business. In order to meet these demands with speed and agility, the network must become less complex. One area of complexity in the past has been the operational model that is used to run the network day to day. The UCN campus with a cognitive management plane must have a unified operational model, whereas the state and the capability of all the devices are visible through a common set of tools. The UCN campus must also provide a seamless provisioning system that can manage not only the campus network, but also the data center switching and routing environments, whether they're in the public or private data center. The network can really be thought of two different forwarding planes, the underlay network and the overlay network. This design has become more popular in recent years with the introduction of VXLAN capability in the switching infrastructure. The campus network has traditionally been constrained as an underlay network where VLANs were used to provide the segmentation necessary. The UCN campus must provide a robust underlay network that can be the foundation for the same type of VLAN design or can be positioned as an underlay network that current technologies like EVP and VXLAN can be deployed at scale. Next, building upon the universal underlay, the UCN campus must have the ability to segment the different users' workloads, work groups, or even device types. First and foremost, to segment, you have to determine the workloads or devices attaching to the network through common 802.1x or authentication or client validation and other means. Then the end-to-end -end segmentation must deliver the appropriate security mechanisms to ensure that segments are not only secure internally, but that their communication with other segments also has the appropriate security posture. The segmentation deployed should be open and widely used across the industry to provide the customer with the most flexible options. This is all great, but how do we design a network to accommodate this new cognitive management plane and the universal cloud network for the campus architecture. Well, we learned a lot from building large-scale data centers. And the simplest way to think about this design is to simply run the campus spline as a set of leaf switches connected to the data center spine. 
you can in fact have many different campus splines depending upon how your physical plan is laid out. You could also have a single two or four way campus spline and have all your building spline switches connect up to the campus spline. If we dig into this more, you can see that the campus spline could be a two way MLAG or a four way ECMP design, depending upon your overall needs. Obviously, a four-way spline that is routed gives us much more resiliency, but we also have to realize that not everyone has that kind of fiber between their campus locations and their data centers. If you think about this in a different way, you have a building, and that building has lots of floors. Each floor has some number of PoE devices sitting on it that connect back up to a pair or pairs of switches. These switches could operate as your campus spline. Now that we've discussed the physical topology, the next consideration is the logical topology of VLANs or layer two adjacency. You can continue to use your VLANs all the way down to your access devices, including your PoE and wireless LAN devices. You could also look at leveraging overlay technology by enabling EVP and VXLAN at your campus spline switch, or if your PoE switches support EVP and VXLAN, you could enable it there. This level of segmentation allows you to use either type two or type five advertisements, depending upon your requirements for the layer two adjacency and VERF isolation. There's one last design scenario that we want to discuss with the UCN campus. It is for those customers that don't have an on-premise data center. The beauty here is that we can enable the same leaf spine topology with the campus spline and just instantiate a VOS router to connect your on-premise data center to the public cloud where you would then leverage all of the cognitive management plane benefits that you would also get for an on-premise deployment. So as you can see, we can accommodate just about any physical topology with the cognitive management plane and the UCN campus design. The real power is in the management and operational capabilities. Arista continues to innovate within the overall network with the cognitive management plane and is now delivering on integrated places in the cloud solutions for the universal cloud network for the campus.